folks, it's Shane Getson here, the MLA for Lexington and Parkland. We're enjoying the liquid sunshine today out here in Mournville. Uh, happy Canada Day, by the way. And I'm here with a gentleman that pulled up on, in a bus. And I thought it was going to be full of kids here that we'd have to hand out freezies. And uh, he's got a unique business model. He's been helping out folks, uh, uh, seniors' homes. He's been helping out the folks out at the military base. And why don't you just walk us through this model, because it's something unique and something that I absolutely want to get behind and help you guys out. Sure. Uh, we're a nonprofit. Uh, and we're literally a mobile farmers market. Uh, I deal with a collection of 35 Alberta farmers. Move their product for them. Alberta producers, uh, cattle ranchers, uh, pork producers, and I try and get as much uh, Alberta product on board as I possibly can. Uh, because most of my clientele is on a fixed income, I try my hardest to keep the pricing down. Um, because seniors, I mean, they're on a fixed income as well as our military. Uh, we go to the Edmonton Garrison, we're gonna be expanding out to Wainwright, all the way into Shiloh, uh, and the demand has been clear across Western Canada. Um, been tied up with some red tape uh, from different levels of government, and ironically enough, I actually have contracts with the different governments. Okay. So, uh, find that kind of interesting. Well, and part of it too, I mean, we did some work here recently and, you know, we were trying to get that farm to gate type idea, you know, far farmer's gate to plate and, and everything else along that concept. So we literally, just in the last month or so, we've reduced a bunch of the red tape to allow producers to do that. And, you know, just spitballing back and forth here and talking about what you're doing. If we had farmers within our area, within Laxon and Parkland or the Alberta area, they could actually start using you as their storefront. So your mobile storefront and start doing that. The other interesting thing that I found was that, you know, you're basically open up to franchises, a not-for-profit type idea. It's it's taking it and helping the ag community, the, the local producers, and then it's giving really good value for the seniors and, and other, you know, service members that actually protect our country and wear the flag proudly on their shoulder to keep the rates down and do that. So where would people be able to get in contact with you? Because again, I'm finding in my new role, a lot of it's connecting really good like-minded folks and businesses and then starting to grow the economy. Like this is one of the things that we can start doing it. It helps out in a lot of areas. Yeah, our, uh, our website is mobilefarmersmarket.org. Uh, and our best way to reach uh, is email consumers.dist at gmail.com or you can find us on Facebook for the Fresh Express.